Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, I have been guided to do uh, a money reading today. I haven't done a money reading for a long time. Here is my, I have a new spread that I've just created. So I, I have uh, the placements written out so I can remember them. It's one I've created myself, so. That's why I just need to remember which card's what. So, money problems, eh? Let's see how we can find you a solution. A solution to your money problems. Solution to your money problems. One more. So the overall vibe. Well, no deep Sherlock. We've got the seven of wands in reverse. It's a feeling of being a little bit overwhelmed by it all. You want to just give up? your feelings are this is you know uh, wheel of fortune in reverse is about it being a whole lot of bad luck bad cycle that you're going through the wheel's always turning though my love it's going to turn around and it's going to get better but i get a feeling that you know that Everything's a little bit overwhelming right now, but you know at some point this is just a bad sticky patch you're going through. It's going to get better. So this is what you don't know. It's my kids and Steve playing in my laundry bag. Oh, one more. What you don't know. Ten of Wands. It's been the heavy burden that you're carrying, but you're nearly there. You're nearly there, my love. Tens are about completion of a cycle. End of a cycle. It's been a hard responsibility that you've had to deal with what you've been dealing with, but you're, uh, you're nearly there. What should you do about it? too. Oh. I don't know. So we've got the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Let me think on that for a minute. But the Seven of Swords is like getting away with it. Look at this dude. He's like, I'm going to take these swords. I'm going to get away with this. It's in stealth mode. Not getting caught. Nobody's seen him nicking those swords. I would say that's a bad idea. Steve, my love. Do you mind? She's in my laundry bag. Do you mind, my love? People are, we're trying to have a serious conversation here come here everyone wants to have a look at the royal cuteness oh, look at him look at the moon yes queen of pentacles she's about things well pentacles are about money for a start but this is about that's not imbalance that's that the pentacles aren't going where you want them to. What should what you should do about it? I need to clarify. All right, swap decks. I need to clarify. 
here. Why the Seven of Swords? Getting out of this situation in a shady way. Yes, my love. It's it's not gonna help you. It's gonna it's gonna hinder. If you're kind of thinking, I I could. It's not a seriously dodgy thing you're thinking about doing. This is kind of saying that wouldn't work for you. If you're thinking about having a little side deal to get out of this. Uh, learn from the mistakes of the past. It's not going to help you out. You're not going to. You're not going to, uh, it, it doesn't look good. Two, two of ones in reverse. It, it, it sort of looks like um, you need to make a different plan is what I want to say with that. Hello, my love. So let's take a look at the near future. about it think about it what the four of swords this is about taking a rest meditating on it contemplating we'll add some more cards to that but first we'll read the outcome then we'll dive in a little deeper sort of saying be patient things are going to turn around you're nearly there you're getting there if you're sort of thinking yeah if i could do this a little side deal a little bit it's a little don't get me wrong i'm not saying you're a dodgy person but a little little bit of a dodgy deal here and there might get you out of a dodgy situation it's not going to work like that it doesn't I'm not foreseeing good things. Oh, baby, can you not put your claws in my new top? Let's have a look why this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. want to be happy you want you want the next cycle to start you you just you, you want to be in balance again <clears throat> excuse me it looks like to you that this is your only way out give us another option the bottom of the deck was uh, this, was the um, Seven of Cups in reverse. This is like, oh, that's, that's, that's a fantasy. It's a wishful thinking. That's not, that wouldn't be the reality of the situation. I don't take flying cards. Come in, what can you do? Give us a solution. What can you do? Oops. What can you do?
everything is going to work out. Everything is going to work out in your favour. Okay, justice is about, it does what it says on the tin. It's all going to work out fair and just and everything's going to be fine. And I would say like try to not fight it, you know, try to try to um, I want to say focus on where you want to be, sort of uh, increase that focus to that, to where you want to be. I see movement, I see action, I think I see things moving forwards. The nights are about travel. Um, I sort of want to say, get imaginative, but think about karma. I think if you're thinking about doing something a little bit dodgy, it's not going to work out for you, my love. Um, Karma's going to bite you on the butt with that one. Be a little bit imaginative. Be a little bit patient still. Things are things are turning around. The wheel's turning. Things are going to work out in your favour and it's all going to be fine. Hmm? Put cherry in reverse. I don't take flying cards, but that sort of felt like it came out. That the chariot in reverse, it sort of came out for a reason. I felt it, it felt strong. It felt like, oi! The chariot in reverse is like, this is sort of saying, you don't have any control of this situation. And that's what this is kind of saying. Like, you don't have any control of this situation. All you can do is, you know, Put your positive energy into the direction you want to be going in. Increase your focus in that in that area. You don't have any control, but you can, you know, use that law of attraction. Things are going to work out in your favour. There's nothing you can do to uh, what can you do? Use your imagination. Be positive. Things are going to change for you. I'm going to take this as extended. I'm going to ask some guidance from the universe for you. Be bold and make the first move. It was in reverse, I'm going to say. I want to say wait. I want to say wait a little bit. I know it's, I know you're struggling right now. I know you're struggling right now and worried. Things are going to change. Things are going to be better. Let's, you know what, in the extended, I'm going to ask a time frame of when this is going to change for you. All right. Thanks for joining me, my love. See you later.